So turning the device on, you can see that we have this uh, these lock screen widgets here. And the device is very snappy thanks to a Linux 3.0 kernel. C performance is very good considering how underpowered this thing and how it's aged. So apps come up, all animations are smooth, everything's nice and snappy like it should be. So now I've had a lot of people ask me about this ROM, so I'm going to post a link in the description of the video. If I'm assuming that you already have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, so you can just flash your ROM. However, if you're still on Gingerbread, you need to flash to an ice cream sandwich ROM and then to Jelly Bean, otherwise you'll encounter some problems. Otherwise, you just flash it like you normally would, install the G apps, everything should be in the link that I provide. Now, uh, what we're going to be doing in this video is theming this to look more like TouchWiz. Android stock is very nice, but sometime it is, sometimes it is nice to have a Samsung look and feel on a Samsung device. So, I posted a link to SkyDrive, uh, a SkyDrive folder, which is right in here. Now, this will look different on the desktop. I'll go ahead and switch over and show you what it'll look like when you pull it up on your computer. So the link on SkyDrive should come up looking like this. You'll see a folder. If it decides to come up, I apologize. I'll just start it. Oh, it's installing apps. Wonderful. <clears throat> Anywho, uh, this should come up when you click on the link. You can see that we have, these are just some files, screenshots. You don't really need to worry about any of these. What we want is the Galaxy S3 Audio zip. TouchWiz 5 Nature Launcher and this backup of a theme right here. So you can just select all of those and then hit download and it'll save it as a zip file. Then you just unzip that and then push the individual files to your Galaxy player. So here is the theme file, or sorry, rather the titanium backup file from that folder. And then I've just moved the two zip files to the place where I store all of my uh, zips flashes, patches, whatever you want to call them. So we have this file here that we want to open using Titanium Backup. You can get it from the Play Store for free or I definitely recommend investing in the Pro version. It's very good. Alright, so now we're going to hit the menu button, hit Import Backup, we want to pick Root Browser or whatever your preferred file browser is, and Browse to and then pick the TIBKP file, restore app, and this will put the theme on your Galaxy Player. Alright, so now that we have that in, you can see it's right here. We're going to go ahead and close that, and we'll go to our system settings themes and then it's right here touch whiz apply anyways <clears throat> and now you can see that the UI has become a little touch whizier we have the blue gradients all these custom icons it looks pretty good everything's still running smoothly and then we have that hideous dandelion background that I hate. So that's that's all nice and good, but we want that launcher and of course we also need the notification sounds. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reboot into recovery and then we'll go ahead and flash those two zips. So I will go ahead and pop on the touchwiz 5 nature launcher zip. Yes. And you do need to have about 30 megabytes of free space in your slash system slash app directory in order for this to work. Otherwise, it'll just get a partial install and it won't do anything. And then next we'll go to patches and then Galaxy S3 audio. 
This will just replace the UI sounds, the ringtones, alarms, and I'll go ahead and reboot the system. Oh, white balance is off. Anyways, uh, the device has had enough time to reboot, and who? Okay, well, you can't really see. There we go. You can see that now we have TouchWiz Home as an option as to use as a launcher. So I'll click that, set it to always for now, I'll just change it later. And there's that hideous background again. I, I really do hate that background. So get rid of that. And so you can see we have the TouchWiz launcher here. Uh, I'll resize that to take up the whole width. Smooth, it's all bouncy and fun. Now this doesn't just change the launcher, we also, yes, use current location. And now everybody in the whole world knows where I am. And I don't honestly care. Zoom in. Zoom, come on. Oh, I'm pressing on the, there we go. So I can close that, or not, okay. Boing. So I have this nice little widget here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have the nice widget there. We have all of our home screens and then app drawer. Everything's nice and smooth. Looks nice. You see the pages fade from the side. Pretty responsive, although not as responsive as Trebuchet or the stock launcher. So as I said, this does theme more than just the home screen. Go and rotate the device a little. See all of our icons in the settings are different. And it themes apps as well. So we can go to, for example, Google Play Music. If I can find it. Here I'm going to change the settings so these are in alphabetical order and I can actually... Alphabetical grid. There we go. Music. No, wait, that's Omic Player. Play music. There we go. Now you can see that the icons weren't fitting on the screen perfectly. That's just because I have my screen's DPI set to a custom 190 because I just feel like that's the everything feels kind of disproportionate. It, the stock 240 dots per inch just the user interface looks cartoonishly large to me. So I like to set it something a little lower on there so I get more on screen content. So you can see that the uh, the Play, Google Play Music app is themed on here, runs pretty well, background is different, and then the actual interface for the songs for the now playing screen is also different. Um, let me see if I can play something without getting sued. Um, what does not have copyright on here? Okay, I'll just mute, no, I don't want to do that. Here. Yeah, let's put that on. Okay, you can see that we have a themed volume slider here, and that's all well and good. And then you also have that little glowing thing there for the time scrubber. Icons are different for the playback control. It's basically what you would expect from this. There's also, of course, the phone dialer. It has these big buttons. And of course, oh. So, for example, I can call that. Let's see what it looks like when we get an inbound call. So I'm going to call myself. Don't want to show my number. I'll, I guess I'll just blur it out when it shows up on the actual screen. So you can see that we have the Samsung ringtone right there. I don't really feel like listening to it. Oh, feedback, feedback, oops. Send the call. All right. So there's that. There's, of course, messaging, which is not on here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you have to sing my alphabet to find anything. Because I'm smart and we're in America and we like to learn things. See messages here, I probably shouldn't, I'll probably gray that out later. Um, I believe the Play Store is themed. Which it is, you can see that we have those custom loading icons right there. 
So we got the two blue swirlies instead of the overlapping white things. Yay! It's touch whizzy. That's really the, all there is. You can also... I have the S Memo application, but frankly there, there's no real using, reason to use it anymore because Google Keep is very, very good. Where is that, by the way? Keep. Yeah, this this is much better than S Memo right here. So I, if you're not already, I definitely recommend using Google Keep. Oh, also themed, we have our lovely analog clock. Ooh, look at that beauty. Yeah, I'll put you right there. It's got little bars instead of just being solid. Exciting. What I really like about this launcher is that everything is animated. So you see I move this up to the delete thing. Little trash can lid pops up. Has a little vibrate thing. It's very nice. We can go to the Play Store, create folder. Very nice animations on here. I love that about TouchWiz. So I'm going to go and create a folder. We'll name it blah blah blah. You can see the... Okay, whatever. You can see that the keyboard here is themed. And voice dictation doesn't appear to look any different, though. Let's go ahead and drop some more icons in there. So, what's related to the Play Store? Let's put Netflix in there. Yeah. Logic. And my tracks. Oh, oh go in. Go in. There we go. And uh, YouTube. YouTube is related. Let's put that there. So I really love the folder animation though. That that does look very nice. And another thing, you can tap between these little dots down here to switch home pages quickly, or you can press and hold for this beautiful little thing overlaid on the hideous spec. I have to change that wallpaper. I really do hate that wallpaper. Yeah. This does come with the TouchWiz wallpapers, all five of them. How exciting! Let's go with that one. Yeah, that's nice. Ugh. Okay, that's that's not nice, but oh well. Good enough for now. Just a lot of themed apps here. Basically, most of the system apps are going to look a lot different. So you can see our calculator here looks different. Basically, you just have that gray and blue gradient color scheme going on throughout the interface. Let's see if camera looks any different. And it does. You see we have a actual camera button here. And hello, hello, how are you? Okay, but yep, very nice, very nice. It's Android 4.2.2, snappy, responsive, very smooth. I love how smooth it is. It took them long enough to get Android up to here, but yep, anything else? Let's look at the clock. Nope, that doesn't look any different. Just custom icon. I feel like there was one that was really well done, and I forget what it is. Good job. But that that is the gist of TouchWiz 5 Nature UX. There's no multi-window or anything, it's mainly just a visual overhaul. And Jelly Bean 4.2, which is a giant, enormous step up from Gingerbread, which is what this thing runs stock. If you haven't put it on there already, I definitely recommend doing so, because this is, it feels like a completely new device. So this is a definite go. If you're thinking about it, you're not sure about rooting your device, just just do it. But it doesn't hurt. And it's much better after you do. I mean look at this. Look at that. That's smooth. That's beautiful. It doesn't do that on stock. Well, this has been a look at TouchWiz 5 on Jelly Bean 4.2. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, share. If you have other things you would like me to talk about, show, feel free to leave that in the comments. I will gladly do those. See ya.